Welcome everyone for day three of Life of a Light Worker. This is available on YouTube live also. You can watch it at a later date and you can share it with your friends. With this, uh, I welcome uh, Sri Lakshmi Dugira Arla Madam to take over the session. Thank you. Thank you, Veena. So the last uh, day of this uh, Life of a Light Worker uh, webinar. Thank you for a nice response. And today I will try to share as much as possible. And um, I also want to share what will happen or what will be the result or outcome when we do, when we become a light worker and when we start anchoring light, right? Am I audible, Veena? Yes, madam. Okay, right. So let us sit in meditation for some time. Please close your eyes. Relax yourself. Be with your breath. We are here to know about ourselves. Why did we come onto the earth? Every being in this universe, in this cosmos, will have a definite purpose for its life. Being a much evolved organism on this earth, we too will have certain life purpose. Our prime duty is to find out what is that life purpose. And how can we achieve that purpose? How can we walk that path? That clarity gives us immense satisfaction, immense completeness, full-fledged understanding of our own self. We should never depend on others to know about our own life purpose. How will the other person know about our life purpose? This is the reason why we always need to connect with our own higher self by activating the soul star chakra. Visualize the soul star chakra, which is above your head, six inches above your crown chakra shining as a bright light. When you keep meditating, when you keep invoking the soul star chakra, it, bright, it shines brighter and brighter. As you get more connected with your own higher self, let's invoke the soul star chakra. Repeat this after me. I am the soul divine. I am the light divine. I am divine intent. I am divine love. I am fixed design by me, the soul. Visualize all the members who are participating in this Zoom session and watching live on the YouTube are standing in the form of a circle. All our soul star chakras are interconnected with each other to create, to create a wonderful group consciousness. 
group consciousness will always have a tremendous impact this is the reason why we join our soul star chakra with other members our soul star chakra is connected with the souls through a brilliant white light we as a group consciousness are going to anchor much and much more light today to confirm this act of anchoring more and more light repeat after me omkaram omkaram is never a religious term it's the primeval sound the sound of creation repeat after me Ooh. repeat along with me Say it louder. The Omkaram confirms, confirms our act. that we formed a group consciousness and we anchor much more light today let us visualize the descent of white fire of an from source to the center of the earth through all of us let the duality be completely dissolved and removed from mother gaia the earth is completely filled with white fire of fun visualize saint germian's violet flame violet flame the earth is bathing in violet flame saint germian is an ascended master he was the founder of new atlantis much awaited new atlantis saint germian's energy is represented by violet flame visualize yourself your surroundings and the entire earth immersed in violet flame it increases our vibration it increases our frequency visualize silver spike protection around your physical body visualize 
another silver spike protection around your plasma body visualize the formation of silver spike protection around your etheric body another silver spike protection around your astral body visualize another silver spike protection around your lower mental body relax yourself keep your fingers on your eyes for 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 thank you masters for doing meditation so on day one i shared about goddess abundantia and uh, she helps us in uh, achieving prosperity in our own lives not only in terms of money in terms of happiness in terms of peacefulness in terms of uh, many different types of energies increasing energies vibrations she helps us in prosperity manifesting prosperity so how do we invoke this goddess abundance is um, we will take a coin normal 1 rupee 2 rupee or 5 rupee coin whatever it may be if you have a silver coin you can take that also actually and if you people can actually get uh, one coin now itself i will make you do this invocation also any coin but when you use a coin like if you prefer a silver coin you can keep that coin permanently and every day you can do this uh, invocation of goddess abundance and uh, we hold that coin in the hand which you don't use for writing suppose you are a right hander then you have to hold the coin with your left hand which is your receptive hand suppose you are a left hander then you have to hold the coin with your right hand so goddess abundance energies are available on the earth since 2 years 2 to 3 years and you can invoke her by by saying this invocation by saying this invocation i hope you people are ready with a coin you can ring it and hold it with your hand which is a receptive hand the hand with which you don't write close your eyes completely relax yourself and say along with me beautiful abundantia i desire to be like you carefree and filled with faith that my supply is already met in all ways help me replace any money worries with joy and gratitude help me open my arms so that heaven may easily help me 
thank you for all of your guidance gifts and protection i am truly grateful and i am abundantly joyful and fulfilled i let go and relax in the sure knowledge that i am completely taken care of immediately and in the near future thank you friends you can open your eyes you can keep this coin if you don't want to use a silver coin you can keep this coin separately and if you want to use a silver coin later you can use that you can um, mix this coin with your own uh, other coins uh, anything is fine but you can do it every day to have abundance uh, in your life everything regarding everything not only money regarding everything right let us go to the next part of the session so you can see here the earth the map world map and you can see the various chakras of mother earth this is like we have seven chakras in our uh, body all energy bodies together even mother earth is also a consciousness and she will also have different chakras at different places you can see this first chakra here sacral chakra base of spinal root mount shasta i don't know whether you people are aware of mount shasta or not uh, mount shasta is a very highly spiritual place on the earth uh, where many people say that there's a connection to the inner earth or hollow earth uh, and people report uh, the appearance of many ships also cloud ships ufos mothership type of things many things that uh, they keep reporting all these things with uh, some pictures reliable pictures also so mount shasta is a very highly energetic place with uh, an opening into the inner earth where atlantis civilization exists or agarthan agarthan civilization exists many other civilizations uh, do exist there then you can see second chakra sexual chakra lek titika lek titika has a wonderful uh, spiritual uh, uh i can say spiritual uh, structures so the spiritual structures of uh, lake titika are actually useful for building up a certain energy grid around the earth and here you can see third chakra solar plexus uh, that is a uh, uluru the olga sam rock um, near uh, australia in the australia then even you can see somewhere around uh, fourth chakra yeah fourth chakra glastonbury this is fourth chakra and uh, fifth chakra here that is throat chakra where great pyramid great pyramid giza pyramid and all and then uh, sixth chakra i think that is up top here and then you can see seventh chakra that is um, mount kailash tibet near to the india crown chakra this is the crown chakra apart from seventh chakra there are so many eight the nine ten eleven twelve are also there so this is mount kailash at tibet is the seventh chakra crown chakra for mother earth this is the reason why people say the existence of shambhala i hope you people know about shambhala shambhala is the place that's an energetic place very main where um, many sci- saints and uh, rishis uh, do exist there and it's uh, not possible for a normal person to find out the entrance to shambhala and uh, people say that uh, mahavatar baba ji takes care of that um, shambhala under his guidance actually at astral level the in- entire world's political system keeps running it will be under the operation of this people at uh, shambhala saints and rishis so this is regarding the various chakras and this information as it is available to the people who hold light and the people who doesn't hold light or the black teachers they to know that this is the reason why at all these energy points or the chakra places they keep uh, 
certain type of uh, incidents uh, certain type of incidents occur so that the energy can be distorted disturbed so that the chakra system of mother earth also remains imbalanced like suppose you have an emotional outburst that means your astral body or emotional body will be disturbed it will not have balance proper balance in the same way among these places uh, chakras and even you can see this uh, next one ley lines ley lines are um, energetic junctions like we have uh, normal um, uh, roads and junctions and narrow lanes etc in the same way the earth is also surrounded by energetic junctions and energetic roads and energetic lanes etc so these uh, black teachers do know about these ley lines and even they do know about uh, the chakra system of mother earth especially they just um, create certain war type of scenes uh, so they create war only like uh, based on religion or that world trade center and even this uh, syria war all these things uh, purposefully they do that because uh, syria is a pentagram syria is a pentagram the place where syria exists uh, four more cities are there manbis and all so all those four or five five cities together form a pentagram that is called syrian pentagram uh, and uh, raqqa and there a very powerful energy vortex for the earth which is called hasuna samara vortex that hasuna samara vortex actually brings highest energies which are necessary for uh, the development of the best uh, uh, society structure on mother earth comes down that energy comes through that hasuna samara vortex of syrian pentagram so purposefully this black t-shirts uh, Uh, initiated or started a war there um, with so many different names of militant groups and all so that the vortex can be suppressed and the energy system can be disturbed and earth grid system can be collapsed actually so this is how even earth grid system you can see uh, this all these are um, imaginary pictures only it is only for our understanding so all these ley lines and earth chakra systems together form a grid system earth grid system so that if the grid is strong enough uh, to hold the energies uh, to hold uh, the incoming changes aquarian uh, is energies uh, so then it's easy for the earth to physically manifest aquarian is the physical manifestation of aquarian is is becomes much more easier if the grid system or the energy grid system is much more stronger and to make this earth grid system more and more stronger here are certain stones you can see in the picture the first stone is the actual uh, stone and when you put that stone opposite to the light uh, you can see the translucency of the stone so this is a this stone is called chintamani and it's from sirius star system sirius star system is a higher dimensional star system like pleiades star system and then aldebaran star system and um, so many uh, star system lyran star systems are there so many star systems are there so one among them which is close to the earth uh, is the sirius star system so millions of years ago one of the planet in sirius star system exploded due to the exposure to galactic central sun wave the energy galactic pulse of uh, galactic central sun the uh, one of the stars is um, sirius planet b it is actually that planet uh, it was exposed and it got exploded and its pieces were distributed at random in the universe and some pieces have come on to the earth also and uh, these stones uh, are actually kept under the control are uh, kept under the guidance and um, care of certain uh, high beings high dimensional or higher uh, spiritual beings on the earth till 2014 So in 2015, this information was actually released by the light forces, uh, and uh, the stones were actually distributed since then to many light workers. Uh, we we have two types of uses of this uh, stone, chintamani. One uses personal uh, uses. Uh, another one is for um, building up uh, the harmonic platonic sacred geometry grid around the earth. Uh, this is what needed which is uh, which counteracts uh, the matrix the matrix which is uh, built on a negative energy grid system 
so as to convert that or so as to counteract it this energy grid or sacred geometry grid is constructed so for that purpose actually these stones are required so since five years we were actually burying uh, many stones uh, burying many stones in different parts of the world and india also has many stones so that whenever you bury a stone in any place there a light angel gets anchored that light angel gets anchored and that light angel uh, starts um, um starts anchoring more and more light so when it anchors more and more light actually then uh, more amount of uh, harmonic uh, what is say the harmony of the energy grid will be there and uh, um personal uses is uh, actually for uh, identifying the duality characters in us see generally every one of us will have duality characters because we took so many births on this earth and then um, we gain all those things either in the form of dna or either a part of our energy system but finally when you want to enter oneness kingdom these energies should be completely transmuted duality energies suppose if anyone any person comes to you and tells you that yeah, you have this uh, quality of uh, duality like jealousy you have you have comparison or even you have short temper anger you don't understand people etc if anyone comes to you and tell tell you then you will get anger because uh, the other person is pointing at you but when you have this uh, stone as a personal stone then actually the stone helps you in the form of a mirror it reflects you your own original self in the form of a mirror it creates a such type of or it makes you identify those qualities and you will start realizing those things and you will start uh, transmuting yourself from duality to oneness so that's the best thing as a personal stone it can perform and uh, to bury and form an energetic grid it's already done the work is done almost uh, complete since um 3 years ago only the work is completed uh, and uh, this chintamani helps in having a beautiful um, you can see this picture flower of life uh, this uh, visualization that means how beautiful the rays are emitting that means when the veil is lifted matrix is removed uh, during that time after that time the earth appears like this it's a rainbow vortex of light around the earth it spins uh, while it spins uh, it will be emitting that rainbow colored light that is outside the veil this type of energy exists everywhere but as we were inside the veil we don't see earth in this way so rainbow colored lights will be emitted by the earth so if you really want to help this earth grid system earth grid system energetic grid system you can actually do this flower of life meditation at particular timings every 4 hours we will be doing generally mm, if you want at least once in a day you can do it's only a matter of 11 minutes only and uh, we will do it now i want everyone to close their eyes relax yourself so i suggest uh, the visualization of this flower of life around yourself or around your own house the place where you are now you can visualize this flower of life around you or your house or even around the earth the best thing is for earth and if you can visualize you can do all the three at the same time around you around your house and around the earth because uh, there will be gaps between the instructions given here so it's easy only to visualize so let us start meditation use your own technique to bring you to a relaxed state of consciousness
state your intent to use this meditation as a tool to stabilize the transition on earth and manifest the most positive ascension timeline for all living beings. Invoke the violet flame from its primary source to place a circle of protection around you during and after the meditation. Ask it to transmute anything that does not serve the light. Visualize the pink flower fly sphere around the earth, expanding below the surface and also expanding all the way up to the moon's orbit. Visualize the flower fly sphere assisting the planetary liberation process, clearing all darkness from the surface of the planet. Then visualize the flower fly sphere and violet flame purifying the ley lines and vortices within the planetary light grid.
Visualize the flower of life sphere creating harmony, protection, and peace for humanity and all other living beings, and especially those who are holding the light for the planet. Now visualize the pink flower of life sphere encompassing the earth and elevating the vibration of the entire planet. Visualize the flower of life sphere manifesting harmony and the most positive ascension timeline for all living beings. Goddess wants peace, and peace it shall be. Okay, slowly relax yourself. Keep your fingers on your eyes. And... Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you for doing this flower of life meditation. It's a very, very powerful meditation. And actually, everywhere else, not on earth, everywhere else on this in this creation, flower of life is a sacred geometry. And uh, it's used very extensively everywhere in the creation. 
so that's the reason why when we do this meditation we also get uh, bring or we will, we will also bring that uh, sacred geometry energy on to the earth right actually you can google the image for flower of life you can take a print out and uh, keep it uh, in your house also you can meditate uh, while sitting on that or you can uh, keep it near your if you have any crystals etc you can keep there or behind your main door also you can stick a paper of flower of life uh, so that that sacred geometry energy will be with you at home or anywhere even suppose you have office then you can keep one uh, a4 size printed flower of life in your office desk also so that that sacred geometry energy will be very useful and when you are walking this spiritual path when you want to know about yourself completely there will be so many obstacles coming in your path but you should never give up never give up is the mantra when you do this never give up when you follow this mantra obviously slowly one after another you will uh, reveal or you will be having that complete clarity about your uh, soul design and all and uh, you can identify all those things but many people just they get exhausted somewhere some point and they just want to okay let me continue like this or let me drop out i'm not able to achieve but it shouldn't be there you should follow this mantra never give up right so this is what uh, the atlantis which sank uh, some 11500 years ago Uh, in the sea due to that water catastrophe uh, and these are the remnants which are found uh, in the sea bottom these are just uh, representing pictures only and um, you can see in this uh, picture of earth uh, that old atlantean equator on this picture is a red line this black line is the present uh, earth's equator but this is the actual old atlantean equator red line is the old atlantean equator so when we are burying this chintamani stones and when we are doing this grid work earth grid work actually we are going to align that uh, um chintamani grid and that energy work uh, with this old atlantean equator we will be bringing that old atlantean equator and this chintamani energetic grid or grid system whatever we do energy grid we just uh, make sure that it brings back uh, this atlantean equator this is one of the work which we do and this is new atlantis i already mentioned about this uh, during saint germian uh, violet lamp saint germian is the founder of this new atlantis and he once upon a time some 17th century he used to live on the earth mother earth uh, and he became an ascended master he is one among the ascended masters um, he also ascended from here he escaped this prison planet and he ascended and this is the new society which all of us are waiting actually he is a um, saint germian sir francis bacon in one of his lifetime he wrote this book new atlantis a work unfinished so that unfinished work actually we were taking uh, care and we were carrying it forward in many ways chintamani grade meditations violet flame meditation will be there flower of life meditation goddess energy meditation so many meditations we will be doing so that we will we want to complete that work we want to finish that new atlantis work and the planetary energy grid of new atlantis is the energy tool when this uh, new atlantis energy grid is properly built uh, then it uh, manifests the compression breakthrough and it brings the event and thereby it helps in the manifestation of uh, the new society that is new atlantis then so violet flame whenever you want whenever you feel guided you can actually visualize the violet flame down pouring onto the earth and this violet flame meditation is a wonderful meditation uh, actually it helps us to be in connection always with our own self our own soul and uh, even it helps us in keeping um, grounded our consciousness will be kept grounded grounded to mother earth mother gaia so this is a wonderful meditation i would like you people to do this meditation also close your eyes relax yourself and follow the instructions slowly relax yourself
please keep your uh, fingers on your eyes after 5 seconds open your eyes 5 4 3 2 1 0 thank you for doing violet flame meditation it actually helps you to anchor yourself keep yourself grounded and it uh, gives lot of protection immense protection from many things you can see in this uh, picture also the screen so upasana is uh, one of the um, apollo pharmaceuticals um, granddaughter and uh, she also uses a lot of alternate uh, healing methods and this violet flame also she uses for alternate healing they to believe in all these things uh, and uh, it is useful for cleaning the aura and uh, expanding it uh, and she says that honestly i know the distress patients and their families go through when sick alternate healing therapies provide a great support to the allopathic medical practice i believe in uh, hope a positivity and therefore a huge uh, believer in alternate therapies uh, she is uh, so when those celebrities are able to believe all these things and they follow they implement these things why do we not uh, so this is uh, how we need to understand we need to elevate ourselves for higher understandings uh, by at least by seeing these things or even you can suggest to your uh, non uh, meditators etc and you can see how close the violet flame to nearer to the earth you can see this nasa clipping nasa astronaut shares video clip of uh, lightning seen from uh, space uh, i enlarged it here and uh, the earth is surrounded by the violet fringes which are mesmerizing so that means uh, there's a downpour of violet uh, flame energies onto the earth it is visible even from the space also nasa generally doesn't reveal all these things but it revealed these things also so it is always good to do this uh, type of uh, violet med- violet flame meditation and until unless we do this type of meditations it's not possible to understand what exactly and for which purpose we have come onto this earth like that of a particular key only can open that particular lock you cannot fit another lock and you cannot uh, keep trying to open it it won't open so the matching is needed it's not mismatch and most of the people believe that they need to meditate for hours and hours then only they can see or they can achieve something and they will know what uh, the life purpose etc i know many people who are meditating since years and uh, 25 years 30 years etc but believe me these meditations global mass meditations will have a lot of impact not only on the globe even on the personal development also so you can see this uh, return of light meditation we have done on uh, 21st january of 2019 this meditation duration is only 20 minutes but the 20 minutes uh, a total of more than 144000 people participated during this meditation on that day and you know all our energies synchronized energies synchronized visualization and synchronized time at that exact moment we have to meditate with the perfect guided meditation that is to achieve a perfect visualization so we will hold the same vision for the 20 minutes according to the guided uh, instructions meditation instructions given there and we all will start that meditation we will complete that med- meditation in that particular stipulated time so when we did this return of light meditation you do you know what we achieved we have sent a pulse of energy from earth that's a clarion call into the cosmos uh, which actually reached the cosmic central race people who exist in cosmic central sun these are the this is the civilization that exists in cosmic central sun see like we have solar system and our sun is the center of solar system and we have milky way galaxy at the center of milky way galaxy we have galactic central sun in the same way this cosmos contains cosmic central sun at its center and that is also a civilization there exists a civilization called cosmic central race and the meditation which we did return of light meditation sent a pulse and these cosmic central race received our clarion call and they started connecting with the human beings on the earth and they started working with the 
people who are in uh, frequency and who are in tune with them and they started doing many miracles uh, with the meditators light workers especially and then later we have done another meditation on 12th january 2020 and this meditation was also super powerful and super successful um it also crossed that critical mass uh, that is 144000 we crossed and then later we have done ascension timeline meditation on 5th april uh, in this meditation 11 lakh people means 1.1 million people participated all these meditations remember the du- duration is only 20 minutes and then later we have done another meditation called is of aquarius activation part 2 meditation on 30th june with this meditation actually the timeline for the earth got uh, stabilized in a better way towards this um, new atlantis and then after that uh, 30th june meditation you can see the pillar of light down pouring in one of the place in the world and that is our meditation synchronized meditations result in such a downpouring of energy onto the earth we bring so much energy so much light onto the earth and then finally when many of us anchor light anchor love we pierce the veil we remove the veil then you can see from earth these type of beautiful planets beautiful uh, sky everything is visible because the veil is the only one which is uh, not permitting us to see what is there in the distant areas so when the veil is lifted up up then we can see all these things uh, all these things like this the sky will be so beautiful if you want you can actually read a book called uh, sunshine before the dawn where the author explains about all these things uh, and even you can uh, study thaiba prophecy also so patri ji suggested these books actually thaiba prophecy and then uh, sunshine before the dawn bringers of the dawn to understand yourself in a better way all of us who are here are no doubt that we are star seeds so what for you have come on to the earth if you want to understand really in a better way you can always do that you can always connect with this uh, ascended master she has got a sizes and he is uh, serapis bay you can connect with them to get full fledged knowledge and all and what do you have to give to your soul say every day to fulfill our uh, physical body we eat food and mental body satisfaction we do meditation and the perfect soul food is compassion going into the nature friendship with everyone gratitude love listening to music enjoying yourself laughter giving sharing passion forgiveness meditation all these are different types of soul foods which you need to provide to your own soul to evolve and to make it a, a comfortable energy or to create a comfortable energy for your own self and this is one more thing a special technology called etwa technology so when you connect yourself with this atwa technology actually it connects you with your mothership the beautiful energy which connects you with your own mothership every one of us will have our own motherships connect uh, belonging to our own star system so if you really want to connect to your own mothership you have to do this meditation atwa technology and the duration of this meditation is just one and a half minute close your eyes we will meditate just follow the instructions at our technology sit comfortably say this invocation I call upon the pillar of pure white light to descend upon me and to form around me I call upon presence of the i am 
am that I am. I ask the presence of the I am that I am to join and merge with me. Okay friends, relax and open your eyes. Veena, whatever I have to share, it's completed. And if anyone wants to ask any doubts, they can. Yeah, please do raise your hand. Yeah. Yes, Lata. I have seen all the visuals actually. In the first uh, meditation, which you said, uh, like flower of life, I saw a whole uh, globe in the golden rings covering up. Right. Nice. Super. Uh, mm. And uh, uh, this, which I have shown the pictures, I I was seeing since two three days. Like mm -hmm. uh, all the visuals, all the pictures which I have shown me. Mm. Already have this since four days, which I am practicing in the morning the meditations. Uh, with Agi sir, mm -hmm. so uh, so all this I'm I'm seeing. So, so you have uh, seen the session astrally already. <laughs> uh, that it, I don't know when you are showing. So I was thinking this is that's what that's what you have visited it astrally already this session. Yeah, man. Yeah, nice. wonderful experience. I have seen so many visuals which I'm not able to understand. Even uh, one uh, white uh, white father like figure. With a mm -hmm. uh, like, which you have shown the pictures only in the father-like figure, mm -hmm. and holding one baby. Uh, when you are showing, when we were doing flower of life meditation, mm -hmm. yeah, all those pictures in a different form I've seen. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Sureka, unmute yourself. Uh, yes, ma'am. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste. Um, yeah, I'm pretty new for, uh, you know, this topics too. So it was very interesting. I've been uh, trying to log in for the last, uh, you know, two days. I think today is the last day, right? Yes. And uh, I was wondering if, uh, you know, this short meditations which you have shared, um, and I attended the Buddha, Buddha column meditation too. So I was wondering where I can find these videos, like the short, short, like, Five minutes, two minutes, or twenty minutes. Once you are doing, yeah, you can actually. Uh, do you know Telugu, ma'am? Yes, yes, I know. Okay. Yeah, my YouTube channel is Crack the Belief uh, channel, where uh, basic and advanced light meditations are available. Basic meditations, like uh, if anyone wants to meditate, uh, uh, being a light worker, etc. So one hour duration meditations. All these short meditations are clubbed and joined together to make it one hour. And if you still want to do more uh, energy work for the earth and your own self, uh, then that uh, meditation is advanced uh, meditations. So that's for one hour. So together, uh, two hours, uh, you can actually get that. Uh, my YouTube channel name is Crack the Belief. Crack the Belief. Crack the Belief. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been doing meditation for last eight months or so. Anapanasati and Patriji mm -hmm. sirs. Yes. But, uh, you know, I, I've been, I have always like low energies. I have crystal, I have pyramid, but still, you know, sometimes I'm very low. Mm. And I tried uh, the Buddha column meditation. I think it was every four hours in US. Yes, uh, yes. Some um, of friends were doing meditation that. For USA. Hmm. Yes, yes. I did that like once or twice, but I always missed the time. And, uh, you know, uh, so, I, but it, it was really great that video. Okay. Maybe I was wondering if I can do on my own or... Yeah, you can uh, so do it by yourself and it's available even on Crack the Belief channel and you can see a lot of audio books are available there. All this, whatever I told about bringers of the dawn, sunshine before the dawn and all those things are available. And even uh, many speeches of mine are available in a speeches folder playlist. Okay. You can do that. Suppose if you are interested in only meditations and if you want English, uh, then you can uh, search for Wheel no, of Mass way, Telugu is also fine, ma'am. I can okay. yeah, actually Telugu. all meditations you can get on Wheel of Mass Meditations YouTube channel, where uh, almost 40 plus languages are available there. 
okay we um, love mass meditations but you don't mm. get it like at a stretch uh, like one hour duration you can put and you can uh, complete that meditation that is available only on my channel okay okay yeah, yeah. and uh, one more question i have from yesterday actually i think uh, you were talking about uh, you know the kids and uh, the tv the mm. ads or the movies and all that right so mm. i have one question like um, what if uh, you know i understand the parenting this is probably a parenting question <laughs> mm. so if if you are not, uh, if the kid is not in i mean if you don't say anything how will the kid know or you know how what is the borderline or if you are till delicate, 17 you know, years till 17 years you should uh, teach them what is mm. perfect what is not 17 years okay. one seven okay right and afterwards you should be like a friend you will give guidance only when they ask okay till that time they need our support you have to tell them but to tell them the truth you should know the truth first yeah yeah i mean like i'm just giving an example what if like i have a son who is like always interested in either sports or video games he doesn't want to do anything no studying nothing no like any activities so in that case i am like nagging him all the time telling look okay, do 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 is it right thing to do or no there should be certain limitation uh, for that also you can tell him in a better way like uh, uh, dear son now uh, this earth is still in this education system that's why you have to do as far as possible don't force him to get uh, 100 marks and all just ask him to read the books to gain knowledge not for marks Mm. so when you tell them that they gain they will have a different type of mindset they are reading the book not for marks sake or not for grades sake they are reading the book to gain knowledge it actually helps them uh, inculcate that reading habits also so then they will open their mind for various books and all and playing also sports also you need to support uh, him actually Yeah yeah he does but to like play sports. sports to play those sports or to be a part of the game uh, he should have minimum degree qualification right minimum qualification mm-hmm. qualification yeah. that's the point i always tell the people here tell the students here see god you are a cricketer you want to become a cricketer you want to become a football player that's better but that's fine only but when you want to enter that uh, game and uh, play for a country etc some educational qualification minimum qualification is required i mean you are playing like that under sports quota they give you job also to enter mm-hmm. that job or to get that job also you need a basic qualification educational qualification so you cannot uh, deny that right so yeah. i keep telling the students like this song they okay. get convinced they get convinced in this study <laughs> yeah yeah yes ma'am it's it's very nice i mean because of this covid and everything online is getting more frustrated and uh, you know little deviated from school stuff mm. uh, very like uh, getting restless mm. <laughs> yeah okay. thank you ma'am. Oh, another person yeah, yeah. Rajesh, thank you thank you so much uh, yeah yeah but uh, we don't understand telugu so can we get these meditations in english or hindi yes sir we love mass meditations is the youtube channel we love mass meditations it's already posted on the chat yeah. window you can uh, just visit the channel both uh, crack the belief and we love mass meditations we love mass meditations mm. yes yes sureka uh so both are in english man both the channels no crack the belief will be in uh, uh, maximum it will be in telugu and uh, some other languages tamil and uh, okay gujarati kannada and then english few things but maximum 70 to 80% percent telugu crack the belief oh, okay okay man thank but you but we love mass meditations so you will get only uh, meditations 20 minutes 10 minutes mass meditations global mass meditations daily mass meditations every 4 hours interval mass meditations uh, and all and uh, that will be in different languages nearly 40 to 50 different types of languages are available there okay okay any restrictions on any of those videos like you should not nothing, do this time nothing, or nothing nothing like nothing, nothing nothing you are open to do anything whatever you like you can do but i always suggest uh, to do perfectly primary soul contract removal protocol every day 
what is it ma'am primary soul soul contract okay. removal protocol okay it is available on my channel also crack the bill if in english it is available Okay. I'm just writing it down. Yeah, it's on Pyramid Times also. Yeah, Pyramid Times also. Yes. Yes. Oh, every day you recommend that one. Okay. Yeah, every day I recommend that, and uh, if possible, uh, Flower of Life meditation also. And violet flame. Yeah, I really like the flower of life. I think even though it was just few minutes, I I really felt it eleven minutes very peaceful. Yeah, yeah, eleven minutes, and Flower of Life is important. A violet flame is for personal betterment. Okay. thank What you so you much told, but, uh, can you spell out again that every day we should do primary soul contract removal protocol primary primary soul contract a uh, removal protocol okay and uh, even flower of life flower of life violet flame meditation uh, anything you suggest for health ma'am like to have uh, better health wise Hmm. any meditation no. uh, it's like you do these things no you will Regular. get okay uh, okay you will get automatically okay. as as much as light you anchor and you will get healed okay hmm. thank you welcome anyone else veena that's all we have okay, i'll stop uh, screen share thank you so much yeah so we have a question uh, asking mm. how to manifest a soulmate and uh, know the purpose of life <laughs> <laughs> yeah know the soul purpose is a little bit difficult i agree for it uh, and uh, actually knowing soulmate i can talk those things after the establishment of new atlantis now you don't worry about those things okay if you really want to know about your soulmate uh, and if you really want to get connected uh, energetically with the soulmate uh, you can do a twin soul meditation which is available on my only on my channel english it is available telugu also it is available twin soul meditation so when you do that meditation you will get actually connected with your own soulmate or a twin soul you can say there's a difference between twin soul and soulmate uh, soulmate belongs to sixth dimensional consciousness and twin soul belongs to sixth seventh dimensional consciousness uh, but when you practice the twin soul meditation you will get connected with your partner in an energetic way energetic way i can never say you that it's in a physical way and actually that creates lot of problems on this type of earth it's not needed get connected with them energetically yes. right any other questions veena chandraya you have any question నమస్తే మేడం ఇప్పుడు మనం ఎలా ఊహించుకుంటున్నామో అలాగే మన యొక్క దీన్ని కూడా మనం అంటే గట్టిపరచుకోవాలి అంటే మనము మనం చేసే పాజిటివ్ ఎనర్జీని మనం ప్రతిపాదించుకోవాలి అంటారా మేడం అంటే దేనిని గట్టిపరచుకోవడం అనేది అంటే మన విల్ అండ్ విషెస్ స్ట్రాంగ్ విల్ స్ట్రాంగ్ విల్ పవర్ ఉండాలి సార్ ఉండాలి ఉండాలి ఊహించుకుని అది అది అట్లా కరెక్ట్ గా చేసుకుని మిగతాది కూడా మన దాని మాత్రంగానే మనం మన విల్ పవర్స్ అని కూడా పెంచుకోవాల్సి వస్తుంది పెంచుకోవాలి సార్ పెంచుకోవాలి సమ్మన్ ఇస్ ఆస్కింగ్ హౌ టు గెట్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు నో అబౌట్ ట్రూ సెల్ఫ్ పర్పస్ సోల్ పర్పస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఈజీ ఐ డూ ఆఫర్ సర్టెన్ పెయిడ్ సెషన్స్ అండ్ త్రూ దాట్ యాక్చువల్లీ యూ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ యువర్ ఓన్ సోల్ పర్పస్ yes okay yeah that's all for today thank you thank you thank you madam thank you so much for three days of uh, life of a light worker and very beautiful meditations people are looking for definitely mm. and future also we will plan few more events definitely yeah yeah 
with this i thank uh, all the attendees for participating in three days uh, life of a like what kar program thank you thank you thank you very much thanks do subscribe to our channel permit times